So Shannon Jardine is uh, a Saskatchewan council member, yes, uh, who's been spending some time in Toronto, and you told me a, an amazing story about being cast in a role that was originally, um, uh, they were originally looking for a male actor. Yes? Yes, it was a, a thriller horror feature executive produced by Adam Sandler and Carmen Kotick, who is a wonderful casting director, and her assistant, Trina Keating. They asked the director, well, hey, can, uh, can we bring in a woman for a male role? And so when I read <laughs> the description of the character, it said, mm -hmm flamboyant gay male art history teacher <laughs> so I said what do you want me to bring in for this mm -hmm. and uh, Carmen said create a character I know you can do it so when I analyzed the script I thought well it's a horror thriller but it's made by the happy medicine guys and I love their comedy so I'm sure they have a sense of humor so I'm gonna bring a bit of humor to this and I created a really quirky character nerdy glasses back on the hair really flamboyant clothes I had a stutter and I was just an absolute goofball in the audition, and I thought they're either going to think this woman is nuts, or they'll think they'll find it funny. And uh, thank goodness they found it funny, so... And you got the part. Yeah, the, uh, the director and the writers came out to me and said, we thought it was so hilarious, your audition, we rewrote it for a female. So that was, yeah, I felt really lucky. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting success story, because it's not that um, we're sorry that you can't be at the conference and be participating in this, and uh, it's not that we want to necessarily go out for male roles, but what we're looking at is what is that space, uh, that shift between uh, something that is meant to be a man and can that role be played by a woman, and in your case, you took something that really had a lot of... Um, nuance to it. In other words, a gay male and so on. So how do you translate that into a female version? Yeah, I was surprised because the writer, he told me that it was based on his teacher. So he would have had a lot of sentimentality and, and thinking of this flamboyant gay male, but based on the work, he was willing to be open-minded as well as the director and everyone else. So, I mean, anytime you go into production office, mm -hmm. when I look at the wall, it's pretty much all male photographs and a couple of females. So when you look at a script, I think there's a lot of times where it, it could be male or female, yes. but they just tend to write for the male. And so I have to give credit to Carmen Kotick and Trina Keating for thinking outside the box, being creative, and also the director and everyone else for being open-minded to seeing a woman. To know. allowing you to come in for it, mm -hmm. because of course uh, we know here in Toronto that could be a difficulty. Like that, first of all, the agent wouldn't even broach the casting director, and the casting director wouldn't necessarily be willing to bring in someone, changing the notion of what it's supposed to be. So, but getting back to what you had to do, so how did you come up with that character? What was, what was the piece in the story that led you to say, okay, this could be, uh, or that led your, um, your agent to say, okay, this could be uh, male or female? Well, that, that all came from the casting directors. That was their idea. But when I looked at it, when they said create a character, I thought, well, this character is very flamboyant, so how do I make that convert it to being a female? So I made... I guess I gave the sense that maybe I was a lesbian as well. Um, but I decided to just make her real quirky. And... I, I guess I took a, a risk by making it a real extreme character because mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. wanted a character. They don't right. want me just to come in a female. Um, and figuring out what would make that role funny, yes. give some comic relief to the film. That was how we analyzed it. So, thank God it worked, or they yeah. would have thought, "Who is that goofball?" So, the <laughs> <laughs> and so you shot it. Yeah, has the film come out yet? No, not yet. The uh, the director Nicholas Goosen. He sent uh, a trailer, so it, it looks pretty good. I mm -hmm. hope it's a success. And wasn't there some piece of film that you were trying to get a hold of for me that was about this situation? Oh, yeah, Hollywood, Saskatchewan yeah. is a series documenting all the production facets in the province. And so this one was based on actors, and they actually showed clips of the males auditioning and then my crazy audition. <laughs> and, and then they showed a clip from the film of me playing the part. Oh, no, that's they, they were wonderful to work with. They, they let me do some improvisation because I had improv also in the audition room. And uh, no, they were really great to work with. It's the first time Adam Sandler has produced a, a thriller horror. So instead of Happy Medicine, they call it Scary Medicine. <laughs> so we'll see. There might be a few more out there. All right. So if you get a call, hey, don't be afraid to be a goofball.
Yeah, and to <laughs> up that testosterone. <laughs> Find your male side. <laughs> Great, Shannon. And we're going to get you back here in Toronto soon, right? Yes. yes. October and November, I'll see you. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. <laughs>